Hey guys, Posta P here with some sad news. Joey, he cancelled his VGM subscription. I know, it's sad, but January, it's going to be his final box. Don't know if he'll be back, but we like to stay positive here, so good luck Joey for all your game hunting needs. Hope you find some good ones, and you can always come back to Video Games Monthly, so let's see what Joey got in his 2023 January box from VGM! Hello everyone, thanks for watching Total Level here with Video Games Monthly box, so yeah, if you saw the title and you know, I'll figure out a uh, skit. I haven't done one yet, but obviously there'll be a skit at the beginning, but... Yeah, this will be my last box from VGM now. I can resubscribe at any point, but I don't see myself doing that soon. Anytime soon, I should say. <laughs> you know, uh, because big thing is, one, kind of want to save money, and two... You know, I'm going out kind of game hunting a lot more, picking up games and all that, so I want kind of that extra money to kind of do that a bit more, right? <laughs> you know, and then the third thing is I am trying to get through a back my backlog, that's kind of my big thing for 2023, despite having a video saying I'm addicted to having a backlog. <laughs> you know, uh, that's kind of my big thing for this year, which I... Gone through quite a few already this year, so <laughs> I'm kind of happy about that. And yeah, with BGM, I just kind of want to take a break and kind of do yeah a bit more game hunting, buy games that you know I pick out for myself and things like that. I do enjoy the service; I really like it, and I've been you know they've been very good to me with a lot of the games they sent me and everything. But yeah, I think. <laughs> You know, plus the other thing too is because I get these boxes kind of later than everyone else being in Canada, you know, it also means that there's only a slight timeline of me being able to pick out games that I sign, you know, for signing up games and all that, but yeah, I think <laughs> I'll cover it, so let's just dive right in. And yeah, we'll have Positive Pete doing reviews for any games that I pick up, he's back. <laughs> And, yeah, I'll have Positive Pete in other videos, I think, you know, maybe do some pickup videos with Positive Pete, so, look forward to that, <laughs> and, yeah, so, if you don't know what Video Games Monthly is, it's a monthly subscription service where you get sent 3, 4, 5, or 10 games each month, depending on which tier you sign up for. You also pick which consoles you want to get games for, from Atari 2600 up to more modern consoles like PS4, Xbox One, and Wii U. Uh, yeah, you also update your library to make sure you don't get duplicates. I sign up for the four game pack a month, and I believe I sign up for... <laughs> I can't quite remember, but I believe it's Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, N64, GameCube, Dreamcast, and Genesis, I believe. Those are the last ones for this last box and all that, and if you saw my last video, I did get a duplicate, I reached out to them, so yeah, instead of getting four games in this box, there should be at least five, I would say, and yeah, let's dive right in and see what we got, so <laughs> I'd like to kind of grab kind of the trinkets and the cards and all that, and Okay, I feel like a magnet and all that, so that's gotta be the trinket, so we'll pull out the one card, so yeah. The share on social media, win three free games and all that, so yeah, and... Can't really feel anything else, so we'll just pull out this little magnet and... Oh, <laughs> got it the wrong way. <laughs> so, cool, we got a uh, Video Games Monthly Calendar and all that. Premium edition again, so they're still partnering up with them and all that, so cool 2023 Kai magnet calendar to put on the fridge and all that, so not too bad. And let's see, so not sure. some of these games I'm not sure 
Because, yeah, I think somewhere like Genesis, one might be N64 or Super Famicom, I'm not sure, we'll just pull out this one, so... Alright, one, two, three, we got... Alright, Star Wars uh, Episode One Racer, so... Yeah, a uh, bit of marker writing on <laughs> the label here, but... Yeah, pretty cool, and this is a pretty fun racer. It's very, very difficult, though, because the tracks are very narrow, you know, it's very F-Zero-like, very fast and everything, and yeah, cool to get, so let's see what Pause Pete thinks of Star Wars Episode One Racer. Oh, well, it's been a while since I reviewed on this channel. I'm excited to be back. I hope you're excited to see me, too. So, yeah, and don't worry about VGM being cancelled. I'm sure Joey has other plans for me in future videos. Maybe I can do a pickups video for him one time. We'll see! So, my review system is very simple. I review games out of 5. From 0 out of 5 to 5 out of 5. Obviously, 0 out of 5 means the worst of the worst, and 5 out of 5 means the best of the best. And our first game that Joey opened, we're going to review Star Wars Episode 1 Racer on N64! Oh boy! Star Wars Episode 1 Racer is a really fun racing game! If you enjoy F-Zero, Wipeout, any of these, you will enjoy this! There's a few issues though, as a lot of tracks are very narrow and everything, but overall this is a ton of fun to play! Now, it is a bit on the short side and there's other racers I'd rather play, like Diddy Kong Racing or Mario Kart 64, but this is still a really solid title. 4 out of 5 from me! Let's keep it going! Alright, thank you, pause the beat, <laughs> for that, so, cool first game to get, and, uh, yeah, let's do Genesis next. So, one, two, three, we got a oh, NBA Jam Night, nice. so, yeah, you don't have to be a basketball fan or NBA fan, you know, sports fan to enjoy this game and all that classic classic, which, yeah, cool to have, so pause the beat, take it away. NBA Jam is an all-time classic! I picked the Utah Jazz here because in the 90s they were great with John Stockton and Carl Malone. Now, this game is so fun and addictive that you can play this, pick it up, play it for 5 minutes or have a game night with it with your buddies. It's a ton of fun. Now, it is a bit light on the content, but still, I absolutely love this game. This is an easy 5 out of 5. For me! I hope VGM keeps it up! Alright, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, um... And... When did this come out? 93 or whatever? Yeah, 93, so yeah, this would be before... Yeah, the Toronto Raptors and... Even, yeah, when... Memphis was the Vancouver Grizzlies because they only lasted, what, six years? Because, yeah, both those teams entered in 95, and... <laughs> yeah, and I don't think this game actually has Michael Jordan. I mean, maybe Pause Pete talked about that because I think Jordan owned the rights to his likeness and all that because usually for these games and all that, it's like the organization, so in this case, NBA would own the rights to every player and name and all that, but I think Michael Jordan and I want to say Shaquille O'Neal was the same thing where they own their own rights and <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that'll be fun little throwback. I'm excited to play that again. <laughs> and then uh, let's do this. I think this is Super Famicom, so They've been really good with the kind of Japanese imports for Super Famicom. I got a lot of great games from them, like a bunch of Final Fantasies and some Dragon Quest. Or did I get Dragon Quest from them? It might have been Retro Game Treasure, actually. But anyways, they gave me a lot of great imports, so let's see what we got. One, two, three. We got... Okay, that's Doromon, and there's a four, so I'm guessing... 
It's uh, Doraemon <laughs> game number four, so yeah, don't know anything about this. Uh, you know, Doraemon is one of the most recognizable sort of oh, characters or animes or whatever you want to say that people don't really watch or seen, but yeah, and I know they made a bunch of these. Games, I have no idea what they are because most of them stayed in Japan and all that, so pause to Pete. Tell us about Doraemon 4, I'm guessing. <laughs> Unfortunately, Doraemon 4 is a pretty bad game. It is quite boring with little animation on a lot of the characters. It feels like one of those cheap flash games you would find on mobile devices or on the Nintendo eShop sold for a buck or two. There's just not a whole lot to this game, it's very slow paced, there's little, little to no animation on a lot of the characters and enemies and when you pick up items or coins, there's no animation, they just sort of disappear and all that, so unfortunately for Doraemon 4, I have to give this a 1 out of 5. Some of the sprites are kind of neat to look at, but this is just not a very fun game for me. Alright, thank you. So yeah, I'm excited to check that out because it'll be really cool. And, okay, we got a loose disc game, so that's either going to be GameCube or uh, Dreamcast, but we'll save that for last. Get this, uh, yeah, Genesis game out, and 1, 2, 3, we got uh, Pac-Man, yeah, Pac-Man 2, the new adventure, so I remember as a kid, I re really enjoyed these games, if I remember, they're almost like point-and-click adventure ones, but I haven't played them for a long time, and, you know, seeing a lot of people just say, like, these games do are not very good and all that, so wonder if nostalgia will, you know, if I'll be blinded by nostalgia, or if, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll t turns out I really don't like this, but pause to Pete, what do you think about Pac-Man 2? So, Pac-Man 2 is another game that just unfortunately isn't that good. Joey may have had quite a bit of nostalgia for this game growing up, but I think even he would agree it just does not age very well. It probably didn't age well to begin with. <laughs> so, you know, like there's some fun animations here and everything, but it's kind of frustrating to figure out what you have to actually do and to use the cursor and all that, it's a little janky, and just, there's quite a few frustrating moments with this game, with the biggest just not knowing exactly what you have to do to progress, and you only have a limited amount of time to figure out kind of the, what you have to hit with your slingshot and things like that, so, because I enjoyed the animations and everything, I'll give it a 2 out of 5, but, Unfortunately, this just isn't a very good game either. Alright, thank you. So, yeah, still cool to get. And then, yeah, final game. So, yeah, they did put five in here. So, yeah, we just got bubble wrap. Guess I'll have to send this to Do You Nerd. Everyone else does that for Lady Lacey. So, well, <laughs> but, God, just. There we go. <laughs> and, alright, so, yeah, loose disc and 1, 2, 3, get, I can't quite see that, uh, Nicktoons Unite on GameCube, so, cool, always excited to get GameCube games, though, I know there's like a Nickelodeon game that's one of the worst games on GameCube, this might be it, I have no idea, it's like a party game, so, have to see what this is all about, but still, GameCube game, you know, be nice to have it complete, but, you know, know how expensive GameCube games can be, so, yeah, pause to Pete, tell us about Nicktoons Unite. Luckily for Joey, this isn't the Nickelodeon game he was thinking of, but with Nicktoons Unite, this game sees Plankton taking over Bikini Bottom while teaming up with villains from Jimmy Neutron, Danny Phantom, and the Fairly Odd Parents. Here, 
you will play as either SpongeBob, Jimmy Neutron, Timmy Turner, or Danny Phantom as you fight your way across this multiverse. Now, the game is a bit bland, I will say. It's pretty easy to. It plays like a lot of those X-Men Legends and Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, but not nearly as good as either of those. It's very slow paced and a bit boring, but honestly, because a lot of these shows I grew up with, there's a lot of fun to be had still with me. So I think kids would enjoy this game, but as an adult, you know, not as much. Still though, I think I'll give this game a 3 out of 5. It was a lot better than I expected, but that's not to say it's way up there with all the great top-down beat-em-up games you will see out there. Alright, thank you, so... Yeah, that was a pretty solid box, so we got Nicktoons Unite, Hackman 2, Doromon, NBA Jam Classic, and Star Wars Episode 1 Racer on N64, so... Yeah, pretty solid, so yeah, I'll put all the price charting.com prices up for everything and the total for all of it together. I'm... You know, I'm going to guess I probably did lose a bit of money and all that. Uh, <laughs> just cause, yeah, I... <laughs> I know quite a few of these games would be very cheap, like the Star Wars Racer, unless it's the not for resale version, then yeah, it's going to be uh, probably like a um, 5 to 10 buck game rate and all that, but overall I am happy with the games we got, so yeah, pause to Pete, what do you think overall of the entire box? Alright, that's the end of VGM and the box, so yeah, recap, Star Wars Episode 1, Racer on N64, Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures, NBA Jam on Genesis, we got, oh, sorry, I thought I was going to fall for a second, I'm putting these games on my lap, we got Doromon 4 on Super Famicom, and Nicktoons Unite loose copy on GameCube, holy moly! So, unfortunately, this wasn't the greatest box out there, but because I am positive, I'm still going to give this a 3 out of 5. It was great to get Racer along with NBA Jam, but the other games probably won't really play that much. Maybe beat Nicktoons Unite because there's some enjoyment here, but we'll have to see. Unfortunately though, Pac-Man 2 and Doromon 4 are not very good, but hey, they tried, right? So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, 3 out of 5 for this box, thank you Video Games Monthly for another box, and I'll see you next time, take care everyone! Right, thank you, so, yeah, not too bad for a uh, kind of final box, I would say, right, and, you know, pretty happy with it, and, very happy with the service overall, right? I may do a video, kind of just my experience with the VGM, so other people can see, you know, see what they think and all that, but yeah, it's been a fun ride, but again, I just, you know, I want to kind of buy games on my own right now, right? So, <laughs> hope you all enjoyed still and yeah I know some will be sad that I kind of done with the service for quite a while because yeah I don't I can't see myself game back with them pr anytime this year like I I have to see you know <laughs> I feel like the big reason I would go back is more like to sign up for systems that I don't typically buy a whole lot of games for just to add to that collection like a lot of Sega stuff or stuff like that, right? But even then, because, you know, I'm... There are things that I kind of go into a store and would want to buy, and... Yeah, that's pretty much the big thing, is I don't want to take a chance on duplicates or anything like that, right? So... Yeah, it's been fun, and... 
I hope you all enjoyed this kind of last box for a while and, you know, I'll see you next time for other videos I do. <laughs> Take care everyone, hope you have a great day. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos on the channel. Also leave a like and comment, let me know what you guys thought of the video. I do my best to reply to each comment and also in a timely fashion. Sometimes I miss a comment here or there, but I do my best to read and reply to all of them. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed and take care everyone. Bye!